is Red Wolf, and welcome back to another Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery Adventure. Um, this is part eight. I don't really know where we left off. I know we adopted uh, the fucking Niffler thingy from Hagrid, but um, that's about it. Hello. You are excused from today's lesson, Miss Silver. Why? What did I do? Excuse? Why? Today's spell is the knockback jinx. It is used to... It is used... It is sometimes... It would help if I could fucking read. It is sometimes used in dueling and can be incredibly painful to its victim. Given your history, of course. I think it's best to not teach you another dueling spell at this time. I'll learn it myself. I'll learn it myself. That's not fair. I'll just say I'll learn it myself. I need to learn the spell. Well, that's a lot better than, you know, what the option was. I just thought that we were going to be like, oh, okay, you don't want to teach me? Like, we'll fucking learn it on our own, bitch. <laughs> I need to learn this spell, Professor. I'd rather learn it from a master dueler than try it out on my own. Hmm. I suppose everyone will be safer if you have the proper instruction. Please take your seat. Yes! We are cunning. And we are smart. And we are the master manipulator. Because we're in Slytherin. I don't know why the fuck I'm whispering. I'm too used to this now. Flippendo! Thank you for saying that. Um, By the way, if you haven't already checked it out, I made it... Um, I made a YouTube video on my channel about fuckery and ASMR because I got this new mic. So, anyways, let's begin. My, um... My dear student, make sure you are prepared. I will be. My inclination is to always whisper for now, for whatever reason. Hmm. So properly cast Flopendo, my voice just went. Like, did y'all fucking hear that? To so properly cast Flopendo, you perform your wand movements perfectly. Nevertheless, casting this spell is dangerous. I have prepared a lecture on proper safety. Listen. Listening. I'm glad we actually got a lot of energy, and we got one more. First star down, four to go. Let's get bravery, friends. We need oh. more bravery. Now I have a question for you. Let's see if you know the answer. What kind of spells Flipendo? It's a cursed transfiguration jinx. You got me on that. You got me on that one. My thing froze, the stream froze. I was just waiting for it to go back. That's another thing I hate. Whenever I post games from the stream on uh, YouTube, you can see the parts that are just like glitching. Um, okay, it's not Transfiguration for sure. I don't know if it's a curse, because technically, Crucio and that, like a curse, um, gives harm. A curse is like a one that gives harm. Flipendo just flips you on your ass. Hence the word flipendo. I would say it's a jinx, I think. Yes! See? Look at the smarts. We're so pleased with ourselves. Stop getting fucking heart points. We don't need any more empathy. We're in Slytherin. We need knowledge above all others, and we need oh. bravery. The angle of your Philpendo Jinx is adjustable. Come look! Yes, yes. We're just gonna nod our way out of this. Yeah, let's go for more bravery. We got enough coins as it is. Oh. Focus on a point here and memorize it. All right, here we go. 
Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> Look at us, we're like, yeah, we're so good. Practice the stands. Hmm. You must stand addressing your target properly when casting Flipendo. Observe. Yeah, more energy. Oh, finally, knowledge points. Oh. Come join me. Yeah, I please. Why is it always us to demonstrate? Like, seriously, can you pick up something else? I know we're your favorite, Flitwick, but come on, man. Look at that stand still. That pose. Perfection. Oh. Please review Flipendo. We will be practicing in a moment. Words. More knowledge points, yes, please. Hmm. Yeah, Bubba. Look at us. Stop getting fucking hard points. Seriously, empathy points. Hmm. It's almost time. Make your final preparations. We will listen. Concentrate. Yeah. Ooh, 200 grand. Nah, not nah, winning that much. It's time to cast Wolpendo. Here it goes! I love the fucking sign for this too. Brilliant! That's all for today. Last is this! Aha! Good work, everyone! Be careful when casting the spell. Or you could be the one who gets knocked back. Hmm. Nice work, Luna. Someday, they'll write a book about your exp expertise in charms. And I will read that book so many times, the pages will disintegrate. Wow, Rowan, thanks. It's our number one fan, everybody. In the meantime, Flipendo will help us escape the locked room if we have to. Yeah, good point. And it will help us defend ourselves if there's anything dangerous inside. We just need to keep working on our plan. I guess Rowan is more, um... Didn't we just learn? Why is it not taking our thing? Oh, we got books. Yes, please. Let's see how many books we got. Can we get pets yet? We got six of the brown, eleven of the thing. Oh, okay, yeah, we need a shit ton of brown books, never mind. Um, what shall we do next? We learn Flopendo. We do have a potions. I mean, we have enough energy. I feel like we can... We need one star to pass anyway. I'm not going to use all my energy on this. Should I? Oh my god, the sounds. Can we, um, care for the creature? I'll go back and finish that with Agrid because I want to, um, there we go. Because I want to save the energy for Snape. And then we can just go back to do Hagrid later. Liffler, we got our level in different. Wow, in different. One out of 14. 
That's awesome. Now let's go learn potions. Okay. Well, I guess we have no choice. to our brain store, I got a few good ideas about how we can keep Snape from getting our, the fairies. Let's hear them. Well, I thought we could try to scare the fairies out of your garden. Uh. It's not a bad idea, but if we scare him, there's not telling when they might fly off. No. Where they might fly off. If they go even further on school grounds, Professor Snape will find them for sure. All right. Then how about we just capture them and release them somewhere else? Ah. I already tried, but they're tricky little creatures. Capturing one isn't easy. Ah. Good God, Hagrid. You need to calm down a little bit, sir. The five pumpkins I smashed trying to do it attend, attest to that. Then instead of moving the fairies... Why don't we try asking Snape directly if he can get the fairy wings somewhere else? I already tried, but no luck. No. Snape said he didn't want to change his lesson plan on account of me feeling bad for some bugs. Well, that's Snape for you. Well, so much for my good ideas. If we could only figure out the best way to convince the fairies to move. That's it, Hagrid. We'll test out our different methods on a fairy to determine the best way to persuade them. Ah. That sounds like a good plan. But where would we get a fairy? The ones in my gardens are all hidden from me. Don't worry, Hagrid. I bet I can find a fairy here in the Magical Creatures reverse Reserve. I'll go find one and lure it to the Magical of Creek to the Care of Magical Creatures classroom. I just wanted to apologize again for dueling on school grounds, Professor Snape. Senpai, please accept our apology. Uh, oh, this doesn't sound good. The only thing I care less about than you is your apology, Silver. Sit down. They so be to us. Look how we just walk away. We just casually walk away. Have you told anyone about Snape and... F about what Snape and Filch said in the corridor? Why the fuck are you talking to Marilla? To me, Marilla, huh? Oh, shit, I didn't mean to fuck. Oh, you're such an idiot. Thank you, you're... Thankfully, your little friend is useless. and won't ruin my chances of getting inside of that room. Why are you after the curse for it's none of your business. It's my business because my brother was searching for the curse vaults. <laughs> and he failed because you come from the family of failures. Now shut up and pretend to study before Snape hears us talking about the vaults. There will be no foolish wand waving in this class. Whatever you say, Senpai. Ah! Today, you will learn to brew an herbicide potion. Why is it an N? That starts with an H, not a fucking vowel. The lesson starts. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Today, we will create a potent herbicide. Do not let one drop find its way to the greenhouse. To the greenhouses. Watch closely. Whisper. Just whisper. 
We get to touch our senpai. <gasps> we touch the senpai! <laughs> Knowledge, please. <laughs> One mistake brewing herbicide potion could have lasting consequences. Stay focused. Ooh, right above the line. I like how he looks so pissed off when we do well. And we're just like, we did it! Ah! Yuki, you need to chill out with that, with the noise of Snape, like seriously. For today's lesson, you will need to crush lionfish spines with a molter and pastel. Get to work. I don't think that we are going to uh, have enough energy to finish all of this. Let's get some more food. We're so pleased with ourselves, as usual. Cause bitch, we're fucking awesome! Ah! Good lord! Snape, calm down. Senpai, you're scaring us. Add your ingredients. <clears throat> Add your ingredients like seeds in the soil. But don't touch the soil. It's Brugal's potion. Ask for help. I don't think that Rowan is better at us than potions. Potions. Sure, would be better in like, you know. This. Ooh, 40 knowledge points. Yes, please. I swear to God, Marilla, do not touch our fucking potion again. She's like, oh my god, you did it! <laughs> ah. Even a task so simple as stirring a cauldron requires perfect technique. I will observe your attempt. Oh, you're gonna observe us stir the pot, aren't you? Oh, we don't have many left. All right, let's get, let's get, let's get more food. Why not? I need to stir my cauldron. I hope, oh, that's me. I need to stir my cauldron. I hope I'm doing this right. We have two energies left. I don't think we're going to make it, you guys. As usual. Oh, we leveled up a knowledge. Finally, yay. Ah! I'm so used to his, like, sudden ah in sounds and shit. I'm just like, whatever. Finish your potion. <clears throat> Finish your potions quickly. I will not tolerate laziness. <laughs> 
so here's to hoping that we can actually finish. There we go. So we really need, only needed six. We'll get more food. Because now that we're actually feeding the pats, we need more food. My herbicide potion is going to be the best. I have to just finish it. To just finish. Marula, you looking kind of sinister over there. You better not do shit with my potion. We did it, bitch. Okay, it was like smoking. Did you guys see that? There's some like black and like dark smoke going on. I thought that like we fucked up our potion. No, I thought she might have fucked up our potion again. You should stir it two more times. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm not gonna help her. Fuck that. Never mind. Forget I said it again. Like I would ever remember something you said. You obviously need to stir your potion two more times, Miss Snide. Shockingly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We forgot to do the voice. Shockingly. Silver's potion appears to be passable. Senpai, it's perfect. But thank you for kind of acknowledging us in a very Snape manner. One point. To one point? That's all we get? One point. One point! When did you ever, in the movies or in the books, ever hear... Snape always takes away points, but like when he rewards points to his own house, he's always like... Five, ten points, twenty points to Slytherin. But one point. Like... One point? <laughs> I even... My character's reaction is the same. Snape was just like staring at her. Yeah, so what you gonna do about it? Um... Thank you, Sunbot. Thank you, Professor Snape. Dismissed. Well, fuck. You make the hardest task look easy. And that's chapter seven done. All right. Where's Rowan? Oh. Why the fuck are you there? Ah, there you are. I heard you've been busy. Excelling in class. Excel, excelling. Excelling? Really? What the fuck was that? Excelling in class and earning house points for Slytherin. Yeah, one fucking point. And you were right next to me, Rowan. You're the one who got me points in flying class. Really? I don't remember that. <laughs> Does anybody else remember that? Not only have people been helping me get house points, but I came up with a plan to get in the room with Mrs. Norris. In the room, Mrs. Norris is guarding. Brilliant. What's your plan? First, we need to get past Mrs. Norris. If we give her a sleeping drop, it will knock her out just as long as to let us by. Second, we need a way to get inside the door. The unlocking charm, Alohomora, should do the trick, but we have to learn that spell yet. Third, we'll need to find the knockback jinx flipendo. We'll need, oh, we'll need the knockback jinx flipendo. It will help us escape if we get trapped inside the room with the devil's snare. If you ask Snape to help you brew in a sleeping trial, he'll get suspicious. What if I need it, you know? I'll just tell, I'm going to ask Penny Haywood. Penny Haywood? Oh. She's the most popular girl in our year. If not in all of Hogwarts, she offered to help me. If I ever needed anything, and she said she's pretty good with potions. She's being modest. If anyone in our ear knows how to brew a sleeping drug, it's her. What about Filch? Huh? I was inspired by your love of research and decided to do some of my own research on Filch. I think I can throw him off our trail. There's one more thing. What? I think we'll need a third person to pull this off. Who else do you want to bring? Not Ben Cooper, fuck that. He would like fuck everything up for us. Let's bring Penny. Penny. 
I know she offered to help you, but this is asking a lot, Luna. I know, but I think she could help. Knowing the gossip around Hogwarts could help us out of trouble, and her potion skills could help us with whatever inside the door. Yeah, why would we bring Ben? He's such a coward. He doesn't know shit. Good luck, Luna. Just let me know when you're ready to execute the plan. That's it for this video. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to become a part of the Wolf Pack, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, hit that like button with your paw, and I will see you in the next video.